Um, we are here today to present a new body of work by uh, Argentinian artist Cecilia Bengolea uh, entitled Dairy Steel. We decided to invite Cecilia Bengolea uh, to produce this new body of work uh, because we thought that the uh, multitude of languages and mediums that she explores could perfectly fit with this sort of theme of duality that we really wanted to transmit. What we wanted to do with this project uh, was to inhabit two spaces. So the Grand Hall of Mudam, here we are uh, today, and uh, Soclusi, which is the foundation work of uh, the former Blast Vanessi in Belval in the south of Luxembourg in the Minets uh, region. Uh, what's interesting about those spaces is that uh, they are, they both are very different. So one of them is basically a ruin, while uh, the other one is uh, a space for art and a space that is extremely pristine. Um, the first time that Cecilia came to Luxembourg for a site visit, she was extremely fascinated by this industrial uh, region of Luxembourg. And she decided to really focus the entire project on the theme of the working class and industries and the fact that it's still one of the biggest active sites in the world. What you see behind us is the video installation Dairy Steel, nine bodies of the dancers from the Jeanne Ballet de Lyon that are superimposed on a collage of found footage that the artist selected through the course of a year and a half. All of these elements um, seem to be a random selection of um, references to our world of today. And all of these elements put together sort of become extremely relevant with the times that we are living. The same way we see this, this sort of reflects also in the performance work. The performance is a 30 minute piece, uh, which once again sort of plays on um, collages. So we see a mixture of different sounds, but most of all, a, di a mixture of different dance rituals and different dance movements coming from all over the world. So in some way, there's a very strong coherency and relevance within the whole project. Um, and it's this sort of frenetic attitude in representing so many different layers and sides of the world of today. Our world is very much defined by the way we extract elements from Earth. Uh, nowadays, it's a bit different, of course, uh, especially in uh, this specific steel plant where uh, we are not extracting iron ore from uh, the earth anymore, but we are extracting them from uh, existing metals, so basically recycling. I would also like to put um, a small focus on the installation that surrounds us at the moment. Um, Cecilia created this landscape. Uh, um, she has entitled it Levigating Slag. And as you might see, um, what is um, inside of the, of the Great Hall are these uh, 20 pieces of slag that are positioned on these ear pillows made out of paper. Uh, what is fascinating is that we see the dichotomy between the lightness of these ear pillows and the heaviness of the slag. Something that runs uh, through Cecilia's work is uh, the mixing of movements from different origins. And uh, something that she's added to this this time is uh, free dance. And uh, that calls for rejection of very strict movements uh, from the classical dance. So kind of like moving away of uh, restricting the body to a specific kind of movements that are extremely, uh, that are kind of like linked to machine, you know, like having the body functioning as a machine, the body uh, doing extremely precise uh, movements. Free dance allows for flow and allows for the body to be more free, some sort of like freedom into moving into the world. So Cecilia really worked in the creation of this piece with the dancers itself. Uh, nine dancers aged between 18 and 23. So uh, it was one of the first experiences for the dancers to go out of the conservatory, yes. out of the traditional uh, dance environments. So also for them, it was a very uh, experimental approach to be in a museum context and to get outside of their comfort zones. Exactly. And also for ASH uh, 2022, for us, it was quite interesting to work with uh, an existing institution which has a very specific role within the Luxembourg art scene. Uh, we also wanted to uh, 
function with an institution that has uh, knowledge and experience working with uh, performance while at the same time um, allowing to uh, produce a work that is uh, ambitious and which, uh, as uh, Joel said, kind of like goes beyond the rules of the museum and can exist in different places. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh